this is what I've come up with. So how how did you do this? What what have you done? Oh, I I tinker a bit here and there and here and then it converge. Okay, so what did you, I mean, yeah, let's let's go into that details, yeah. What have you done? Because that details important. Okay, so I uh I tinker this part here. What did you do? Uh this one here. Uh exactly, yeah, excellent. Methanol recovery and Methanol therapy. Ah, very good, very good, very good. And I try to match it up with the textbook and then it converge. I think this is the part where it converge. Ah, uh, okay. And then the, this is the only thing that you changed or is there, was there something else? I think this is the only thing that I changed. Ah, uh, okay. Can you go, can we open that uh, first column? This one? Ah, uh ah, -huh. Check the monitor again, because I would like to see. Uh, this is okay, yeah? okay. I think this yeah, is okay. This is a, yeah. um, so excellent, excellent. I mean, um, uh, 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 the the most important thing in in converging. Um, I think I have a slide somewhere, yeah, uh, to converge. Um, mm -hmm. A simulation. I'm not really sure when I need to. Um, oh, I'm not really sure where, but uh, I also took it online somewhere. Uh, one minute, yeah, maybe I can. Uh, because uh, the most important thing in this converging is um, we need to be able to understand. We need to understand the the process as a whole, and then how it is being uh, calculated, um, and then what inputs um, that we have to have. And then all of the components they have to um, uh, have the outlets means mm -hmm. if you close this window. Yeah, sure. So that means if we are because the incoming we have the incoming of methanol and uh, water, right? Stream number one. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, methanol and water, uh, and then the, in the reactor we are going to make DME. So we will mm -hmm. have like a four com. Uh, we will have the three components: methanol, DME, water. So mm -hmm. all of these, all of these, they have to have uh, an outlet. So uh, the DME will come up, uh, will come out uh, in the stream number ten, and water will come out in the stream number fourteen, and then methanol is being consumed in the in the in the system. So all of these three components, they have the outlet. Um, mm -hmm. So that's also um, uh, uh, very much helping to converge. Let me see where I save it somewhere. Yeah? Uh, convergence. Uh, while I'm while I'm searching for my file, I don't know if I can find it now. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll have to do this next time. Do you have any questions on this? So far, so far, is there any questions from any of you? Ah, no, no. It is crystal clear for me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because you did that, and then the others. <laughs> I mana lah dia. Uh, uh, I cannot find that file somehow, but um, again, just to precise, yeah, to understand, uh, to be able to converge a, a simulation number one, all components they have to have the outlets. Each component uh, has to have an outlet. Uh, number two. Um, um, yeah, we need to understand what we are uh, separating, what we are calculating. So we need to understand what the process is all about. And then number three is that um, uh, the location of the uh, recycle itself that also plays a role. For example, now we are recycling it from uh, in this uh, stream number thirteen, right? Uh, mm -hmm. In some cases, we may we may need to relocate this recycle um, unit operation. But in this particular case, because this is just a simple case, it's it's sufficient to have it uh, in this uh, recycle stream actually. 
Uh, I see mm -hmm. there is a pop up chat. Can you convert to ISISTAN? Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I cannot open your uh, ISIS because I have ISISTAN. But in any case, uh, good that you um, that you do this. So um, fine. Um, if we don't have any, if you don't have any uh, uh, question, I think uh, we can move forward. Um, uh, I have two things to show. Uh, we Would you like to share screen? No, you are sharing your screen now already. Oh, okay. No, no, uh, I have two things to show. I mean, to show via your your, your screen. That's what I meant. So, oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, uh, so let's see. Yeah, we have, uh, what is then the input that we have uh, in this plant? So you have, yeah, you have a flow rate of, of methanol. That's one input. And then mm -hmm. you have also um, the exchanger 202 addition. Right? Mm -hmm. that exchanger, that's uh, uh, that addition, uh, that one. Because um, you are using this to control the temperature inlet to the uh, reactor, I guess. Can you open that? Yeah. Because I don't remember. So, uh, see, 250 degrees C. So, uh, mm -hmm. that's also, this 250 degrees C is also an input to the system. Means if you change this temperature, you 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 will get a different result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, what I would do is then, we would do, for the same capacity of methanol, we would do a kind mm -hmm. of like a sensitivity analysis. That's what I would like to show. All right. Okay. So we will see uh, um, if the uh, um, what we can have by varying at least varying one in uh, varying one um, uh, uh, input parameters. In this case, the reactor temperature. Yeah. So we would like to vary this reactor temperature in such a way uh, that. Um, that we will then uh, uh, see uh, what is then the, the maximize, uh, how to say this, yeah? Because if we, for example, if we increase the temperature, that means we will increase the conversions and that means we will increase the, the yield of the DME. But then at the same time, we will need to have a, 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 a more energy in the, temp, uh, in the, in the, in the uh, tower 201 because the DME is coming at the top, right? Can you follow me? Mm -hmm. Uh, and then also, um, uh, I think I will better than the. I have a file, but I, it's not the same file. But in any case, it looks this the same. Yeah, I will share my screen, and then we will do the exercise using your file later on. Yeah, uh, Aisha. All right. Okay. Eh. I know that. What do you see? Did you see? Did you see my uh, screen? Yes, yes. Um, this was a file. Um, um, see, I I put I put the recycle. This was a file that I uh, made as well. Some I don't know some years ago maybe. Um, and uh, I put the re the the cycle stream back into the tank uh, because that's what we normally do. We send it back to the tank, so then all of the liquid will be pumped through uh, the. Thing. But that's that's the same case. So what I would like to show you is that um, uh, we have in this plant, yeah. So this is then our plant. So we have uh, inlet uh, a uh, uh, fluoride of methanol. So we will use this as the the, the capacity that we are now running. Uh, and then we have um, an additional input to the uh, to the heater over here because we are controlling the inner temperature of the to the reactor. Uh, if we increase the temperature, the conversions will increase. That means the amount of methanol is also going to be reduced, right? Because the compression increase. Uh, th but that means we will have to um, yeah we will have to cool more. We have to cool more, and we may need to heat more. And then we'll have to hit more here in the, the in the reboiler because we are making more DME by increasing the conversions. Uh, and then we'll have a less DM, uh, less methanol here. And then we'll have like a a, 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 a lower reboiler over here because we are uh, recycling less methanol. But we are going to discharge more wastewater as well. So um, 
there are several uh, uh, um, uh, situations that we have to consider, right? The amount of energy that we have to put in, uh, amount of energy that we have to remove here, there, and there to in to include them as well. So, so this one, the amount of energy that we have to remove. So we will make a plot. We will vary this temperature in, and then we will make a plot on the um, the yeah on the energy requirement and then the, the amount of DME um, and then the wastewater um, and then if we don't have the cost number now uh, if you have the cost number uh, that will be good but uh, since we don't have the information now um, we we may need to uh, to calculate this based on the like uh, energy uh, like how much um, uh, energy that is be that is required to produce like uh, for example one ton uh, of of DME for example, yeah. <coughs> so we will do that. Uh, in the meantime, do you um uh, okay, sorry, okay? So I will stop sharing my screen. No, eh, I'm stopping. Okay. Am I was I sharing my screen or no? No, yeah. Yes, yes, you were, you were. Oh, okay. Now um. Now can you maybe you can share your screen again, uh, uh, Aisha? Right. But this uh, case study, uh, we have done this some time ago, yeah? You can. Is that a different file than this one? Yeah, I, I tried to. Uh, I, I heard that if you put it in .xml, you can open it in version 10. I'm not sure okay. about that. <gasps> oh no. Why is this different? Mm. Hold on. Let me see. What is happening? I mean... What the hell happened? Uh, rating can't be done because column three. What is column three? I don't know. No. Hold on, hold on. It's a different uh, file, eh? It's a different file. Yeah, this file. is a di Okay, hold on. No, no, no. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, so my, my target for th this e this evening is that to get to get uh, to do this sensitivity analysis and then uh, and then after that we'll do the optimization uh, a, a simple optimization based on this file and then we're done. Uh, yes, it can be open. Uh, can can you find your file, uh, Aisha? I'm trying. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Shafi, can you? <coughs> okay, hold on. Okay, got it. Okay. So that means this XML right. file, we can just, I can just yes. open this using a high-speed yeah, scenario. Yes, you can, uh, ah. you would have, uh, previously, it's in .hsc extension, okay. and if you put it in, if you save it in XML extension, you can open it in version 10. This one XML, this one is HSC. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay so, so now, yeah. You have it. So let's, let's do this, um, let's do again the case study that, uh, that we discussed. Okay. I hope you still remember how to do the case study, yeah? No? Yes. Right, let's let's I... do this together. All right. Um, how, how did we do this last time? I don't know. Go to home, maybe? Home. Ah, that one, case studies. Uh, yeah. Right. And then the... Uh, I did... <coughs> Uh, add or edit, I don't know. Yeah, just you can you can rename it, yeah. Uh, so that, that then we then we know. Okay. Uh, instead of case study four, you can rename it like uh, varying in the temperature of the reactor, for example. Yeah. 
How do I rename it? Uh, F2 Press F2 No? No Oh, not that F2, that means we have to press Fn F2 Fn F2 Nothing happened Right click No Edit If you click oh, edit, edit. Uh, Okay, I, I don't know yeah, It doesn't seem that you are able to change the name but in mm -hmm. any case, in any case, uh, let's just move forward. So what we are going to uh, um, uh, vary, for example. So in this case, we are going to vary the inlet temperature to the uh, reactor, right? Mm -hmm. So how to so do we that? Go here. Yeah. Yeah. And to case study four. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we would like to see um, the composition. Um, yeah, you can try. Yeah, composition of, of GME. Uh -huh. and, and then we would like to see because um, yeah, increasing the temp uh, increasing temperature means we are uh, now uh, playing around with the all energies involved. Yeah. That means we need to uh -huh. we need to we need to record the energy required in that E two O two. This one here. Uh -huh. That amount of energy we have to we have to add it as well to the case study. Okay. And then the what else? Yeah. Um. The um. That um. I think we will we'll, 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 we'll check on the reboiler only yeah, to, for simplifications. So reboiler of the, se the first and the second column. And for the second column. And then uh, we are going to need to um, we will neglect the energy required for pumping. That's also fine. And then the stream number ten, stream number ten, we will then uh, record the, um, the the flow rate of the DME. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, how to record the flow of the DME? I don't know. Make it in kilogram. No, no, no. The other one in kilogram. Okay. Yeah. So, because in this case, we have met, we, we make sure already that the, this DME is 99.5%, yeah, so that's constant. So, in this case, um, yeah. it's, in this case, it's, it's good. Okay. Um, so, have we, get, have we got everything that we need? Um, yeah, what do you think? Recycle stream, there would be changes in recycle stream, I suppose. Yeah, but then, the, um, yeah, what do we want to see? You could add it, yeah, but I don't know what um I don't know what you want that you would want to see. Um, <laughs> okay, never mind then. Yeah, well, uh, for every options, you have to have you you have to have your own uh, argument, yeah, Aisha. So you cannot just you cannot just yeah, do because everything I say we... to you. <laughs> if there is like changes in temperature, there would of course be changes in uh, add the. It, add it, add it, add it. Uh, add that, add that. So add everything. <laughs> what, what you think? You know, I mean, I mean, uh, it's it's a part of learning, yeah. It's part of learning. So um, why not? It's all part of learning. Anything else? Okay. I think we are fine. Okay. If you think you're fine, and then let's move on. Case okay, studies and then the and then what did we see? Okay, yeah, very good. So um uh okay, two fifty they put it already in the independent variable and we have these six dependent variables and um uh can we see the uh, case study setup? It's all good, no? And uh uh case study so current value 250 and then the, um, 
Maybe yes. we can start. Uh, so in this case study, so we are going to do the sensitivity analysis. So we have to provide the yeah uh, the beginning and then the the starting and then the end of the temperature. So mm -hmm. um, maybe we can uh, do uh, in a narrow in a in a narrow range because um, I'm afraid that it won't converge for okay. a bigger range, which we normally do yeah because yeah, you're not going to run your plant from uh, uh, with a huge difference. Um, okay. So I think um, what Maybe I propose here. Yeah. Huh? Sorry again. Two two five. Two two five. No, no. Two two five is too much. Um, oh. uh, I would say two forty until two sixty. Right. Uh, just uh, for the sake of of uh, seeing how it's, and then step size maybe you can add like uh, I don't know uh, two two degree or five degrees up to you. Okay. Yes. Oh. Fine. Fine. I mean, why not? Yeah. Okay. 11 steps. Uh, uh 11 steps. So, um, uh, right. what is then the red uh, mark be below here? What is then the, what's the con what's the comment in the in that red part? Comment. Uh huh. Scroll down. Oh, not run. Not okay. Right. And um, in the case study type, because I don't know what that case study type means. Uh, nice that and then sensitivity. Sensi yeah. If you go for sensitivity, what happens? Nothing happened. It's the same, yeah, basically. Let's try to use this way. Mm -mm. It's basically the same, I'll say. Mm -hmm. um, Should we run? Okay, and then you can run. Smart bridging. Oh. Fine, fine. Let let it. That's what it does. Still running two, yeah. so we still have 42. nine nine more to go. <laughs> it's probably too big of a difference because the iterations is nearing three thousand now. Yeah, uh, it could be. Mm -hmm. it's, too much, too much, it's too long, yeah. Can we stop? Yeah. Can we stop and then we start from two two forty five and then two fifty five? Two forty five until two fifty five. No, not that one. And then we do, yeah, maybe two, huh? Eh, how do you get that? Why did you this? I did one, I don't know. <laughs> Can you? No, no, it's why, because you have these two variables. No, 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 that means something happens. That means you accidentally add this uh, uh, as your, uh, uh, see, remove this. Uh, you can just click delete. Okay. Uh, and then click run. See if that helps. Ready. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's taking so long. Yeah. Let's wait another two minutes. Uh, if if um, if within these two minutes uh, we are not progressing any further, we'll have to do this sensitivity analysis in a different way. Uh, no, no, it doesn't have anything to do with the dependent variable. Dependent variable is just like uh, when we get this run and converge, we take the out uh, result, and that's it. So it has it has something to do. It has everything to do the with the with the with the simulation with how we model uh, with our model, and then the, how complicated it is, and then the the um, the, the range of the variables. Uh, of the independent variables that we are um, uh, trying to um, uh, to to do the sensitivity analysis on, and um, and also the how 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 robust our our uh, uh, simulation is. So that means say we change a number, can it solve it? Uh, can can we solve it in, in instantaneously, or we have to have like a uh, thousands of iterations first? So these three items will then define whether this is uh, going to be fast or slow. And so, so depending on the on the, on the uh, laptop or uh, the, the machine capacity, yeah. Running state two. Uh, let's wait until 10:10, 10, 10, yeah. Uh, five more minutes, yeah. Let's let's, let's be patient a little bit. Uh, and then in the meantime, do we have any? Is there is there any question? Yeah, not converge. Now it's getting to the running state three. Um, can you go up and then see if we have some results already? No results? No results? Uh, we do. We do have So you can see uh, at uh, 2.45, we have the uh, DDM if the rate is 3.395. And then the um, we can see the uh, the, uh, the 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 preheater duty is uh, 6.04. And then the reboiler duty also. Uh, 5 to 5.2 5 and then this is 3.8 uh, at least we have something eh? yeah okay it's working it's just very very slow uh -uh.
very strange, yeah? It says not converge, but then it gives us the result. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm now uh, very suspicious whether these results are the correct results or not. But we'll see. Where does it say that it's not converge? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm following the, uh, this, um, the, the, ah, uh, uh, that one, that message over there. Oh, okay. But until we do this manually, uh, for example, yeah, we, for example, yeah, we rerun this case number four manually, means we don't use the case study at 251. Can we get the same result? Can we get the same numbers or not? Uh, we can we can do that later. Just a confirmation. Yes, right. I don't think this is quite accurate. If we have decreasing game refraction, why suddenly we have ah, increased mass flow? Yeah. Ah, see? And so we guess we are in the 251 degree C. So I'm expecting that uh, we will have a higher DME uh, concentration at the outlet, right? Mm -hmm. mm, so from 245 to 247, we can see the, an increase in the in the uh, fractions of DME, as so, as well as in 249. So we have uh, 3.4. 3.7. This is 3 points. It's not 30, not, not 0.3. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Interesting, yeah? <laughs> I don't think this is accurate. Uh, Maybe we should break up the recycle stream first? I don't know. No, no, no. We cannot do so. Because if we break up the recycle streams, that, made the, that means... Um, uh, that means it's not done. So the uh, another way, another way is that um, uh, one more case can uh, just just let let this run one more case and then we will do manually. Uh, when we do manually and then we can we can uh, we can uh, cut the convergence and see how it works and then we connect the uh, connect the recycle and then see if it's converged so 251 it's uh, the lowest but then the floor rate is because the DME floor rate is increasing uh, the stream number six. Can can you show me the stream number six? Is then the which stream? Eh? Reactor outlet. The reactor outlet. Uh. Mm -hmm. Reactor outlet composition. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Reactor outlet compositions. Okay. Because we have a recycle of methanol, so that means. But I'm not expecting this to be. Is it done or not done? Yes. It's. it's Go back to the case study setup. Case study setup page. Is it? What is then the message done? Oh no no it's still running. How resetting many values. Oh, resetting values? What does it mean? Can you go back to that result? There's no changes. But it's still running, yeah. Let me see. Oh resetting values, that means it will then the, um, recalculate back that two fifty, I guess. Oh. Let's see. Uh, and I think, I don't know, can you click now send to Excel while this is running? Hmm, save it somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, can you open that Excel file? Let me 
this is completed but okay uh, hey can you because uh, i see something strange can you open that uh, excel uh, uh, that high is again what is that uh, i saw something not run where is that variable selection oh. can you not, oh no 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 it's uh, something it's something different because uh, what I saw is that you can can you open the case study? Why is this yellow? That one that means it's not converged. That's why. It's very weird. So now, because these are all like uh, re uh, duties for energy input, yeah. Maybe um, you, you uh, uh, in column H, for example, you can you can add all of this energy duty. This and this and this. Uh huh. And then in column I, then you can uh, divide the energy by the by that uh, column G. So that means we have a specific energy consumption. So energy divided by the um, uh, the flow rate of the DME. So what would then be the the unit for this specific energy consumption? Kilo. Joule per kg. Ah, can you make it in megajoule per kg so that we um we uh, we we and we uh, because I don't like seeing this um too many zeros. Uh huh. Eh. Kilo to mega three, I think. Uh, kilo eight. Uh, uh, come on, uh, uh, <laughs> 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 What is that? Can you um yeah and then ch change it to generic because I don't like it um general. Okay. Uh, remove all the decimals. And remove the decimals and then make a plot. Plot between this yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, betul. Right. Okay, this is the plot that we have. I don't think this is the plot that you have. Is that true? No? It is. Oh, okay. You can do that plot manually, yeah? Uh, this one uh, looks okay in the x-axis x-axis is the b and then the y-axis is the y uh, x y-axis is then the uh, j yeah so um the uh the specific energy consumption seems to be reducing 45 44 41 and then it jumps to 47 45 43 i don't know why um uh can we redo the 251 case the uh, case number four okay so we do it manually uh -uh. Uh, sama lah betul tadi. It's not converging here. I'm not sure why. Yeah, one minute is still thinking. Still, it is very high. I 
Because you see the reflux ratio is zero, mm -hmm. and then the recovery um, is it's lower, lower than what you would expect, uh, because we could increase, we should be able to increase the recovery. Uh, Or we are limited by the equilibrium yeah? uh, or this VLE that one. We need to check as well. Uh, what is coming in yeah in stream number two? Um say for example, yeah, you untick the recap okay. Okay. Uh, check what's in stream number twelve. Sis. What is coming in? Uh, so Mostly methanol. Uh, so we have Only, huge. Oh, okay. So we have huge amount of methanol, and then the that means the methanol is not reacting in the in the reactor. Mm -hmm. uh, Can we have a look at this number here? It's very low, right? Eh? See. So this is very low. Yeah, because. Uh, if the MB is not produced, say at 251. Why is not? It should be produced at 251. But it's not. It's at 0 0.029 right now. Yeah, it is not. But then the question is then why it is not? So, <laughs> so can you open the reactor? Huh? Open the reactor and then uh, see what's coming in. What is coming in? Ah. Uh. 251 and then composition yeah see the uh, the uh, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 conversion is very small yeah um okay so it could be because of the um uh it could be because of the uh, uh the the kinetics that we keep in right mm-hmm so uh, maybe at the time because at the time we 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 uh, we reduce the kinetics means we reduce the constants in the reactor um, mm -hmm. to uh, to to somehow match the 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 the, uh, the the data. But now in this case maybe that reduction is no longer mm -hmm. valid. Yeah. It doesn't seem so to be we valid anymore. that number? Uh, what's in the number? What's how much is the number? Can you open that again? That reactor again? It was as okay. you can directly open the reactor. Yeah, no, 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 not that one below. Uh, reactor that reactions. Okay. Um, and then the um, details, and then view reaction. Oh uh, yeah, this one. So this could be um, this could be very small. Can we um, um can we increase now the A? Uh, should be uh, 4,000 mm. or the original number? Uh, what, how much is the, the original number? Let's see. Ah, that one. 100... Uh, 1.2 million. And not that one. Below. Ah, that one. 1.2 million. million. So we have... Uh, see, we have only like 2,000. Can we can you increase it to like um yeah okay <laughs> let's try it huh? so and then the that one is the e 
Uh, yeah. okay, okay. This, this is this is this yeah. does not change. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, close. Okay. And then run. Still thinking. Can you open that reactor? See what is uh, happening. What's coming in and out? Composition. Okay, my. Uh, this is ah, my now, uh, now looks better. But uh, it's too much, yeah. So that, that because we don't now we don't have any methanol, so that means mm -hmm. that we will have a problem in column two as well. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Should we change it to two thousand five hundred maybe? Uh, two thousand five hundred. No, no, no. Uh, uh, um. Yeah, you can try. Eh? You can try, Aisha. Uh, to the power of five, maybe. And then see what happens. Con composition. It's still too low. To the power of uh, four. Ah, be, uh, be patient, sir, otherwise you're breaking your keyboard. <laughs> okay. okay, we are getting somewhere. Ah, this looks fine. This looks fine. Okay. I think this looks okay. Is this an okay number? Uh, yeah, at least we have we have six percent methanol, and that can be um recycled. I mean, that's uh, that should have uh, quite some value to be recycled. Okay. Uh, Let's see stream twelve. Ah, uh, very good, very good. So now you are doing very well. See, eleven percent, so it should be okay. Eleven percent is okay. Yeah, it has something to uh, to be separated, right? Correct. Right. Uh, open again that column. Uh, open the column. See what what is what is going on. Solving. Uh, now the recovery is only six percent somehow. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It doesn't want to go up. Eh? Uh, can you? Uh, I think you need to stop this and then enter reflux ratio instead to give it uh, a new starting point. Starting point. So one point six. Ah, uh, something like that, and then. The, um, well, I don't know what number it was at. Ah, uh, exactly. That's what you should do. <laughs> 0 0.11, 0 0.11. Uh, yeah, you're doing very good, yeah, Aisha. Seventy two something, uh, seventy three something. Eighty. Eh, this is KT mall. Okay. Yeah, that's Just type it there. Seventy something. I don't know how much. It is Ah. Okay. A minute, but then uh, okay. you, you, yeah, there, there's uh, this that component fraction is zero. That means uh, that means you are, um, la, la, la. you are uh, evaporating uh, much more water. Ah, oh no. Uh. 
So uh, in that can sense, we can we do this and this? Yeah, you can. Yeah, why not? Yeah. This is the kind of problems that you will see often. Um, how much is coming in? Can you go to worksheet? Seven twenty composition. Ah, see, it's changing. Yeah, it's changing. Uh, composition. So two percent. It's very small. Ah, uh, two percent. Uh, so two percent times that uh, seven hundred is about fourteen, right? Mm -hmm. Go go back to that uh, monitor. Ah, it's about 14, that number, yeah, 13 point something. 13.2. Ah, it cannot go more than 13.2, right? Oh. It doesn't, you can see that 13.2 seems to be stagnant. 13.2, let's try. Uh -uh, let's try. Uh, Language. Right, with company fraction, with methanol fraction of 13. Is it really methanol fraction? Can we double click? Can you double click on that? Yeah, methanol. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But if it's 13.2, um, see, the methanol fraction is very low, yeah? Um... <laughs> Um, can you increase the reflux ratio? Or maybe you can then... Um, uh, can you uh, switch that switch that reflux ratio uh, with the methanol fraction? I'm suspecting there is a, there's a isotrop somewhere. Uh -huh, yeah. Probably methanol has some. Because it's methanol water, but we are operating it at a relatively higher pressure, 7 bar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe can we decrease the um kinetic thing so that we can allow more methanol to be to not be to Ah uh, yeah, to you, could, you could do so, yeah. You could do so. You could do so, yeah. Uh, this is just for the sake of um, having a, a, a nice and smooth uh, simulation. Uh, how much was that? We were at this sum. It's already low, 12,000. Oh. It's already low. Maybe 6,000. Six thousand. Okay. Check my. Uh... We still have this one two percent. Yeah. Uh, oh,
Hey, why are you keep decreasing the? <laughs> because we are not producing methanol. Two percent. Two percent. Okay. Well. We have four percent here. Yeah, it looks very low. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not that you are not producing methanol, it's just like uh, the, 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 you're, you're consuming too much methanol based on this data. Yeah. Uh, 2000, Maybe it was to 4000. Can we use yeah. the reactor that was uh, recommended by Shafiq earlier? What was it? Last month, he, it was a different kind of, uh, we are using kinetic, right? Oh, conversion he, reactor. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, conversion ah, yeah, conversion reactor. Okay, okay. Yeah, you could do so, yeah, you could do so. So, uh, we'll spend some more minutes here, here but okay. Yeah, uh, save it in a different name. Use it in a different name. And then you can always come back and then compare. Yeah? Uh, uh, there's also a difficulty um, in having this kinetic reactor. Because it will keep changing depending on the inlet temperature that we are, on the concentrations that we are giving in, which reflects the reality. Okay, uh, so how do we change the reactor? Uh, delete that one, that's yeah. at least the first step. <laughs> just delete that. Oh, just delete it. Okay. And then the, now you add the reactor. Yeah. So uh, conversions. Uh, which one is the conversions? Yeah. Uh, this one. This is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh. Right. Nanya ni. In a vapor phase, yeah, and then but you still have to uh, add a liquid stream, it will be zero, but uh, okay. And then reaction, reaction. So, here this one, um, yeah. So, should we add a new type of reaction? No, it's the same reaction, okay. Oh, not the correct time. Okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. So, this is um, kinetic. Uh -uh, uh, so it means we have to add the uh, another reaction type. Go to properties. Yeah, yeah. Uh, reactions. Add. Uh -uh. Yeah. And then this is plus two. Two DME, yeah. Eh, no, no, no. One DME, two oh, methanol. One H2O. Uh uh. And then uh, two methanol. Uh uh. So balance error is zero. And then the conversions in this case, uh, reaction phase. You need to add. Yeah, I need to uh, make it in the vapor phase. Okay. And then uh, see Shafiq asked to have it 85%. Where do I put in 85%? And the CO. Obviously in the CO, yeah? Because you can see that uh, CO has no temperature connection to it. So it's um, it really is the a fixed conversion regardless of what the temperature is. Okay, I see. So that, that's it. Uh-uh. All right. And add yeah. FP. Add to FP. Yeah. Ready. Hey, man, nanya Shafiq. 85 or 80 percent? Uh, we can always change it later. <laughs> so it's 80. Uh, 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 I don't know. Whatever you want. 
85 is fine. Uh, okay. Go to simulation. Alright. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. And then the double click on that reactor again. Okay. Reaction set. Uh huh. Reaction two. Conversion okay. then. Uh huh. Percent. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Uh, see, see, you have now the eighty five percent can. Uh, and then the now you can Lego. um. Uh -uh. Okay. Let's see. All right. This is. Uh, there's no DME. Very strange. I don't know. Uh, uh, is it 85.85 or 85? Yeah. Point oh. And uh, that could also be uh, a problem. 85. Make it 85. No, you can so just is, you can just this edit there. Alright. Okay. Okay, ah, we are doing okay ah, now. Okay, yeah, eighty-five. So here, go to monitor. Um, right. What? What is coming in? Ah, okay, okay, ah, okay, okay, okay. It converts, yeah? <laughs> it's uh, 770 with 25% methanol. Uh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Right, yeah, so it's yeah. converged. Yeah. Let's so, resume our case. Ah, uh, <laughs> very good, very good. Very good. Because this, uh, this, is, this is a stupid result. So, quick okay, run again. So rerun? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Because now we cannot rerun this. Cannot? Uh, no, no, because your conversion has nothing to do with the temperature. Oh. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so that means uh, that means we can just keep this temperature uh, fixed, but we have to vary the conversion. Ah, uh, okay. Right? Because our input is the conversion, not the temperature anymore. So we vary the temperature. And uh, not in here, keep it 85%. Okay. But go to the case study. Go to case study. And? Because that's where you have, that's, that is where you have to um, change the independent variable. All right. Uh, so this temperature is no longer valid. Mm -hmm. the, Delete and then and then you can add the conversion um, variable here. So you can uh, yeah, if you want to do it the hard way, fine. Okay, okay, I, would... I do it the easy way. Ah, let's do it the easy way. So it's no go go tick on the conversions. Tick on that conversions. Which one? Stoichiometry basis conversion. Ah, okay. This way. Ah. Cannot. If you click on that uh, view reaction. Can we change this one maybe? I don't know, just uh, send it. Okay, we can. Ah, okay. See what happened. See what's inside. Yeah. Uh, start at seventy five. Um. Two eighty five. Two two ninety. Uh huh. Right. Ah. Uh. Hey. Success. <laughs> Amazing, eh? <laughs> so. Okay, so here's our plot. 
Uh, yeah, but this is not the. Uh, we want to have a more complicated plot. Yeah, you know what our plot is. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because um, what, what they will plot, what they will plot, they will, what they will plot is then they just plot whatever the columns against the other columns, and what we want to have is this specific energy consumption, basically. Okay. And uh, this plot is just a simple plot. To, we want to see the a more advanced plot. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Uh, do your magic again. Yeah, plus that G. Uh, directly in Mega Joule, yeah. Uh, make it in a nice uh, okay uh, okay uh, so it's a uh, it's a decreasing but okay so with an increasing conversion rate Uh -huh. We will have a decrease in specific energy consumption for every DME produced. Uh, somehow. Is this right? Somehow, yeah. <laughs> uh, because I would expect. Is this normal? I would expect. Supposedly, more DME produced will produce. We will have more. We will have to have more energy, right? Um. Uh, we don't know. Um, because we need to we need to evaluate the process again. So, for example, yeah, uh, if we increase if we increase the the conversions, that means we are making the we are making more uh DME as we see it in the column E, right? In the column E, we see an increase in DME, and then in that sense, um. We, I would expect to have a higher uh, reboiler duty in the first column. Uh, no, what are you doing? First column, this one. Uh -uh. I'm trying to read the title. Okay, but then I don't see that increase in the reboiler duty. Mm -hmm. Um. That's what I would expect, yeah. Um, because we have more my DME there, that means we need to evaporate more DME. That means we need to have a, a higher reboiler duty. That's what my expectation is, but it doesn't seem to be in alignment with <laughs> with what this ISIS guy tells us. Uh, and then TO2 as well, it the reboiler duty decreases, which is I would expect so. Because by increasing the conversions means I would have like a, a lower amount of methanol, so that mm -hmm. means that means lower amount of methanol to be uh, reboiled. That means I would have um, a lower reboil duty. So column D is okay, and then column this is um uh, is also okay, mm -hmm. and then column. F is also okay, right? Because we increase the conversions, that means we increase the DME, and then the specific there is the amount of energy produced, amount of energy required to produce one kilogram of DME. Specific energy means the amount of energy required to produce one kilogram of DME, one kilogram of product. Uh, that's what we have, what we typically define it. And then the E202 is then the preheater, yeah. The preheater means if we um, if we increase the conversions, that means there will be a, like a lower methanol to be recycled. Mm -hmm. uh, lower, uh, but then, uh, 
but then lower metal yeah lower okay right a lower methanol to be recycled that means there will be because we have a fixed input of methanol going in so that means it will be combined with the lower methanol recycle so that means we will have a lower preheat duty so this one is also correct um what what I don't understand is then the column C. Everything else is what as what I expected. Uh, can we go into the tower? Okay. Hello. Yeah. Go to the tower. Tower. Uh huh. Monitor. Oh, very strange, yeah, because we have uh, we have uh, exactly the same ninety nine percent, and then we need to have exactly the same purity ninety nine point five percent, and uh, the duty decreases if we increase if we have more dme in the feed the duty decreases but we are also using um modified unit quark which we take account the uh you know the interaction between dme and methanol and water so maybe it would have some effect to this Data? Mm. So I'm not sure. Uh, the um, that one, yeah, but then the, um, uh, this reboiler duty has something to do mm. or has everything to do with what we want to reboil. We want to uh -huh. reboil the DME in the top, right? Because we want to send DME to the top, that means we have to reboil it. Mm -hmm. So the more DME we have at the feed, uh, the more we have to reboil. Um, a minute, yeah, a minute, yeah. What is then the 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 face of the inlet? Is it liquid or uh, vapor? Um, mixture. Mostly liquid. Mostly liquid. Hmm. Interesting. Can we do now a manual uh, calculations? What is then the temperature now? 251, yeah. Eh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, what is then the conversions now? Um, the current conversion is? 85. 85. Can you open that column again and then at the same time open the reactor so that we can then change the um, change the uh, conversions and see what happens? All right. Yeah. Um, we are at five point nine one. Six. Open it. Uh, this is this is done already. Yeah, and this is done already. Da da da. Oh, very quick, yeah? Uh, one minute, one minute. Because I haven't uh, looked. Okay, so now, um, reflux is 1.2. Reflux is 1.2 and 75%. Um, okay. Increase it now to 80%. 80 okay. Uh, we have increase in reflux ratio. Yeah, that's what I would expect. But the decrease in... Uh, reboiler duty. It was 5.9, why now it's 4.7? No, why is that so? <laughs> I suspect it was, I mean, it might have taken account the interaction between uh, the I components. I, uh, could be, uh, but I don't know. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, nonetheless, yeah, nonetheless, uh, uh, I think you know already because the message is then to, uh, to do the sensitivity analysis using Aspen. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we see we see that this house is uh, uh, um, there's a trick. We 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 had a trick to use conversion reactor to make it like a more robust simulation. Uh, mm -hmm. 
and then it gave us some numbers and then um, and then we see that we are now struggling with the numbers to check whether the numbers are correct or not but that is something uh, aside of this um, uh, uh, sensitivity sensitivity analysis topic which we yeah. have to evaluate separately yeah but i guess for the sensitivity analysis topic we 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 have covered that you know how to do sensitivity analysis using ISIS. that's the most important message whether the results right. make whether the results make sense or not that's a separate topic yeah okay uh -huh. so now uh if you go back to that uh if you go back to that uh uh respond a uh, response uh the plot uh go back to the plot the power plot excel Uh, because I want to finalize the optimization now. Uh, go back to the. Okay. Uh, so uh, if we are now uh, bounded by these conversions, yeah, we we can only allow seventy five until uh, 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 eighteen eighty nine, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So uh, say for example, we want to minimize the specific energy consumptions. What would then the conversion should be? What should you as high be? as possible. Yeah, as high as possible. Yeah, it should be somewhere about this 1.5. So uh, mm -hmm. we will do an optimization. Uh, we know already what the answer is. We just need to know uh, whether the optimization in HiSys can give us the same answer. All right, okay. Okay, now do it. Huh? <laughs> what do I do? Uh, and then you, go, you open that optimizer. Uh, Close all of this bullshit, uh, and then open the optimizer. Optimizer. Uh, uh, optimizer. Uh, 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 optimizer. Below, below case study data fits and optimizer. Okay. Uh, and then um, uh, um, spreadsheet. Go to spreadsheet below. And then the, um, we go to spreadsheet again. No, okay. Uh, not this spreadsheet, the spreadsheet on the top. Oh, okay. Ah, now here you can um, you can uh, uh, find the variable. And so what do what are we writing? Uh, it's the same. So you uh, need to uh, find the conversion variable. Okay. Put it in column B so that we you can type something in column A. Okay. Quick, okay. Then and we then, want to see the uh, all of that duties, the the uh, the two o two add uh, uh this duty add it in the. Just the same way like we do, uh, like when we did the, um, oh, it looks very strange, yeah, but anyway. Like, be careful yeah, with the keyboard. Why is this all X here? Yeah? I don't know why. You only have this column. Say it again. We don't have enough column. Yeah, I was expecting that you put it all in the B column, but uh, anyway, you can just put anywhere. Put anywhere. Uh, there, wherever. But I'm now seeing why it's all X. Okay, because now. Because putting there would override. Okay, and then. And then the... op open again that optimizer. Oh, this one as well. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, not that one. The, no, 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 no,
ruin this world. Okay. Why oh, it's all X here? Yeah? You know why? Open that optimizer again. Okay. Ah, okay. Ah, looks okay. Now, um, because we are going to vary this B one, yeah, uh, and then we are going to um, then you can uh, you can type anywhere. Uh, I don't know, maybe in B four uh, or where anywhere, so that you can redo your uh, sensitivity analysis calculations, so that we can have we can have the uh, specific energy consumption. So this plus this plus this plus. Ah uh, ha ha. How do I this? Ah, uh, that one yeah. C one. Uh, type it. I have to type it. I think so. C one plus C uh, D one plus D two, and then the you divide them by one thousand, and then divide by the five nine by divide by D three. Enter. Huh. Alright. Yeah. So um now um go back to the uh thing parameters. Okay. Um. We can change number of column. Yeah, that you you should do beforehand. But in any case, we have done the well. It's it's all done deal, yeah. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, uh, uh, go back to the uh, connections. What's in the connection? Um, okay, and then I think you can close. Uh, can you, uh, because this is optimizer spreadsheet, not a don't close this, put it aside. Ha, huh. eh, oh, yo, yo. Now, uh, in this case, go so uh, variables, um, add, yeah, adjusted variables. That means you are going to adjust the uh, can we have something else because we would like to adjust the B1, uh, yeah, the B1 variable. Yeah. How do I find it? Uh, that one, I don't know. Um, I close this and uh, go to the right a little bit. Is there any right? No right. No. Uh, Maybe an import thingy. Ah, uh, you can see. Uh, you can just uh 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 import. Oh no no no. No. Uh, ex. No uh, export import v one. Um, let's see functions. What happens? What what do we have in function? Uh, add. Oh, this is constraints. Uh, constraints function. Ah, so that your B one is between seventy five until ninety. Yeah. So it has to be that lower than 90 or equal to lower to or equal to 90, huh? 90 or 91 maybe, I don't know. Where do I put the values? Um, Penalty value. No, uh, that huh? means we have to, uh, yeah, it means you have to go back to that spreadsheet and then put 90 somewhere. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, because we don't have that. Uh, Maybe uh, lower limit. Do we need that? Yeah, yeah. You have to have that seventy-five. Make sure that you don't override anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. B two. Okay, and then add. Same B one, and then bigger Must than. Be. Um, B three. Yeah. Three. Okay. Uh, and then uh, in the cell, can you see cell? Mm -hmm. 
can we then because our objective is then what was the objective the specific energy in which to in which minimize cell, in which cell it was uh, b4 okay and then you want to uh, minimize that one yeah okay uh, and then the, because I need to know, okay, now uh, we've done the constraints, we have, we know what we want to minimize. Go back to, uh, go that the parameters. Uh-huh. No. Uh, and that variables, variables, because need, we need to make sure that we can add, click add. Uh, I think in here you can, we can do a... Uh, uh, ah, from that reactor, I think we can have the reactor. Reactor? Uh -uh. Uh, where is the reactor? Eh? Uh, CRB. CRB. Uh -uh. And then we have the conversions, yes, exactly. Is that Respect? the correct one? I'm not really sure. The same conversion. The same conversion, yeah. This way. And just try. Okay. Low bound and high bound. Oh, it's also the same. So low bound is then 75, right? 75. And then the high bound is then the 90. Yeah. And then in this case, that means we can also remove, remove that constraint already because we have already this as a constraint. So this delete? I think so. You can delete that. Okay, then, and then start. The, yeah, make it bigger. Start. Optimal small data F. I, I don't know what that means. What does it mean by optimum found? Now you can go to monitor. Monitor? Mm -hmm. that Where monitor. is that? The monitor variables functions parameters monitor. Where is that? Configuration oh, monitor. Uh, monitor. So it doesn't change anything, yeah. So the first iteration yeah. is the uh, it uses the eighty two point five, and then the second iteration it uses eighty, and then the objective function is still two point twenty nine, and then it stops. Because it doesn't see any improvement, so that's what it means. Ah. Uh, now the question is then: the question is then why it thinks so? Um, there is something wrong that we did, I guess. Um, variables. Is it really before? Oh, exactly. So. I think so, yes, it is before. Uh, go to a configuration, maybe. Uh, in the optimizer. Um, original. Um, I don't know. Can you change to a hypotech SQP? No derivative utility. Okay, selection optimization. I don't know. Yes, we need to. We need to. Um, nah. Let's go to this. Uh, go to this. Uh, original. Um, go back to variables. Because I have my doubt on this present conversions and as well as the uh, what was the other one specific conversions. Um, can we um, uh, uh, untick the enable and then add add to this the the other conversion? Uh, spec conversion. Uh -uh. See what happens. Okay, and then run. 
Something. Ah, so this sounds like it. Ah, good. <laughs> Ninety one point four eight. Ah, uh, yeah, well, whatever that is, 1.48, but then it says that uh, we need to run the, uh, because 1.48 is the different from our sensitivity analysis case, yeah? Uh, how yes. much How much did we get for the sensitive analysis? 1.2 or 1.4? This, this is until 18.9. Ah, okay. Do. Okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So why did we, uh, okay. Okay, so this should be okay, right then? But, yeah, I think this should be 1.4 if we uh -uh. Uh -uh. see the trends right here. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Betul. Yeah. So... So basically, that's uh, how how I mean the, the the specific specified I think that specified conversions because we specify the conversion so that is then the correct independent variable that we have to select uh, rather than the 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 other conversions. Mm -hmm. um, it shows yeah because we know already what the answer by because we have done the sensitivity analysis, so we know what the answer is and then now we can verify uh, whether the optimizer can do the work which it can. So it gives us the, the same number. It gives us basically the same uh, results. So we can have the lowest specific energy consumptions if we go to the highest conversions within the bounds that we have selected. Uh, do it again. 89 or 85? 80, 89. Uh, 89. 85, 89, 88, uh, 89. Uh. Ah, same. Ah, uh, see? Yeah, sama. Ah, uh -uh. ni kan? So, um, eh, can so. Yeah, you could, um, uh, uh, in this case, I would like to say one more thing, because in, in our uh, optimizer now, we don't have any constraints. The only constraints that we have is then the specified uh, conversions. So these two constraints, but we don't put it there. We put it here because it says uh, it, we have the, the venue to do so. But if you go back to that uh, constraint page, Parameters, eh, functions. So, um, say for example, yeah, for example, yeah, uh, because we are uh, varying um, the con conversions, but uh, but but we we are we are allowed to have all kinds of duties uh, available in the reboilers. So if you if you are limited by a one reboiler, for example, and then you can add that as a constraint over here. Can you follow? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah so you can add it and then rerun this and then see uh, what what comes out. So that that's I think uh, uh, I don't know. Um, the, can can you now fully uh, uh, understand on how to do the optimize how to use optimizer in a high Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now I think mm -hmm. in this session we have done we have done on how to do the sensitivity analysis. Uh, we have done on how to do the optimizer, and then you know that basically optim sensitivity analysis is optimizations in a sense, and the other way around. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we we are we have now verified the results of optimizer using the sensitivity analysis. Yeah, so you are certain you have a high confidence now the. Optimization results is the uh, a correct number. Uh, it's just that uh, whether these numbers is uh, actually correct or not, that's a, a separate case, yeah. Because we have a doubt on the we have a doubt on the on the reboiler of the DME uh, column, the first <laughs> column. 
but in in any case um, uh, i think uh, i don't know yeah um, you have to you have to ask me questions um, whether you you have a fully a full full understanding on the sensitivity analysis and the optimizations is something that you have to tell me i'm good hmm. any other questions from the other audience Shafiq, okay. And then the others? Yes, I have. Oh, so, maybe how many of us? Seven. And S is Shakina. Shakina is. Shafiq is good. Shakina should also be good, yeah? I guess. Uh, Irina, how me? Uh, I don't know. Any questions, Irina, how me? Uh, Shafiq, and then Stila Ilham. Any questions? Stila Ilham, Shafinas Ramli, any questions? No. Um, yeah, if uh, there is no more questions, that means I think we can end this session. Uh, for uh, uh, next week, um, uh, do you want to do the dynamic? Try to make a dynamic simulation, or you would like to do another case of this uh, Turton book? Um, it's up to you, yeah. You can this you can decide later. So you have yeah, one yeah. Group. I think we decide later uh, in our WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'll see you next week then. All right. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.